My name is Janet Jeanette, and I am a citizen of Keene. The pumpkin festival and what took place on and around the, camp, the uh, Keene State College campus are two separate entities, and we shouldn't confuse them. The pumpkin festival was an unqualified success enjoyed by thousands without incident. Let It Shine and Ruth Sterling are to be commended for organizing a wonderful family event. I would like to thank all those who worked with me on the committee and also the City of Keene, including the Public Works Department, the Fire Department, the Emergency Personnel, and especially all the law enforcement personnel who, took, who put their lives in jeopardy to contain those involved in criminal activity. The Pumpkin Festival is important for many nonprofits and service clubs to raise money, which, is, which are used to enhance the lives of many children in our community. My club, the Kiwanis Club of Keen, would lose a major source of income if the Pumpkin Festival is discontinued. Just last Friday night, Kiwanis used some of the money that we raised at the Pumpkin Festival to host a tree lighting ceremony at Central Square. And I think everybody benefited from what we put on that night, and that's what part of the money we raised at Pumpkin, Pumpkin Festival was used for. Um, and since what took place with a small part of the college students partying had nothing to do with the Pumpkin Festival, I hope that the college and the city council focus on finding solutions to the problem that had nothing to do with the Pumpkin Festival. Canceling the Pumpkin Festival will not solve the problem. When some students went wild after the Red Sox won the World Series, no one suggested doing away with the World Series, or no one suggested that the Red Sox should never win again. <laughs> What's to stop a large, unruly crowd from gathering next year in October, what even if the Pumpkin Festival is not held? The Pumpkin Festival did not cause the rioting. The irresponsible behavior of drunken miscreants is to blame. Focus on the problem and come up with a solution. Let's make sure that we hold the 25th Pumpkin Festival next year. Thank you, John. John Bemis. Daryl. Hi there. So, People that know me personally are going to know some of the issues that I have with Pumpkin Fest. Uh, people who know where I live, uh, they'll understand why I have some of the issues with the festival. But even I find it disappointing to, to consider 2014 being the last Pumpkin Fest. Uh, you know, honestly, it's just an embarrassment. That being said, I hear people mentioning that drinking is an issue at Pumpkin Fest, and that's why I've suggested the consideration of moving the festival, festival to a location that doesn't include 20 plus locations to purchase alcohol. And that's what can be found right in the festival footprint right now. 20 plus locations by a bar. Now I admit that's not a guaranteed fix to the issue, uh, but it does separate the precious pumpkin fest from the riotous behaviors that we had this year. Uh, pumpkin fest for me, it's not a thing that is a Saturday afternoon delight that some people seem to think that it is. For me, in my neighborhood, it starts Thursday night and it ends in the wee hours Sunday morning. People tell me that I should just leave for the weekend. Well, that would turn my yard into a parking lot and a urinal and a trash can. I'm not willing to do that. And if you have an issue with me suggesting moving Pumpkin Fest out of Wheelock Park because you don't want that in your neighborhood, well, consider what you put on me for the past 24 years. Me and my family have to put up with this all the time. So take a little consideration into it. If you don't want it in your backyard, well, then maybe you should consider where it is right now. So just consider that. I mean, like I said, I'm not out there trying to kill it off as much as I, as much as that surprises me. Uh, <laughs> because like, like I said, you know, if, if 2013 ended it, we had the world record, right? Ruth, you could have congratulated yourself on that one. 2014, we get international fame because people throwing beer bottles and burning, I don't even know what that was, a bed or a couch or something in the street. I mean, it's crazy. I want to see something go out on a high note, and I'm willing to work with people on doing that, but it can't stay on Main Street. That's, that's my personal opinion. Anybody wants to chat with me about it? Well, I'm more, mm -hmm. more, more than happy to do so. Um, and I thank Ann Hewitt, I've talked to her several times. I appreciate the, the effort that she's put, that she's putting into uh, dealing with, with the issues from her standpoint. I don't envy the woman, and uh, thanks again for, for what you've done. Thank you very much.
Jay LaFord. John. Yes. I'm John Davis at 28 Cross Street in Keene, New Hampshire. I've been a citizen of Keene all my life. My family's been here before that. Um, what I think the biggest problem with the city and Keene State College, and it hasn't been answered, how are you going to solve the problem of drinking, and et cetera, et cetera. What I would like to see, and I'm not sure if it can happen or not, but I would like to see the city and college better prepared to handle what takes place during Humpkin Festival. And what I mean by that is that they don't wait for something to happen before they send security in to, to put it down. Um, so the, I think that's important. What I heard, when I went down, I went down Friday night before the pumpkin festival. I went down Winchester Street, and I have never seen so many students congregate on Winchester Street in my life. It was, it, it was scary. It was really, for me, it was scary. Because I wondered, what if some, someone should, if they get to drinking and something could happen, what would they do? It, you know, it's, it's like a lynch mob, it's, it's that mentality. And we don't want that. And I, I think that the city of King can work with the college. And I think what I say to you is, please your own. By policing your own, I think you can have college students as well as the city calling in if they see problem areas. They can't get into their dorm, for instance, because of drinking. One minute. Okay. Then that that's what I that that's what I see, and I think that, I think it can be handled correctly, and um, and that they would keep the crowds moving so that they don't congregate into groups. When they congregate into groups, that's when a safety issue occurs, and that's